Well, hello, happy Sunday. I hope everyone had an awesome week and an even better weekend. Yesterday we went to Dinosaur World. It was, um, it was hot. It was really cool though. <sighs> okay, so I know in the beginning of these video series, I was like, I don't need a ring light. I don't need a fancy background. It's just about getting the video out there, taking the video, getting the video done. It doesn't matter. As long as I reach one person, it I, it doesn't matter to me. It doesn't matter if there's one view. It doesn't matter if there's a thousand views. It doesn't matter to me. My goal is to reach one person with all of this stuff. And I think the last time I posted was four months ago. Before this series, it was four months ago. And the reason was is I could be a perfectionist. And I wanted everything to be perfect. The cover photo to be perfect. And like... You know, there's all this like statistics in YouTubing and like how you should do things and like the hashtag and the this and blah, blah, blah. No, I, no, it's not about that for me. It's about reaching the one person. So hello, how are you? If you're new here, I'm so happy you're here because maybe this video was meant for you and maybe not. Maybe you'll just like listening to it on your drive to school or your drive to work or your drive anywhere or you're just hanging out in your living room and you just need something good to watch. I'm happy that you're here and I'm excited because um, doing this feels so much more my speed than the planning of the video and the scripting it and like blah, blah, blah. It's just too much. For one, it's too much. For two... I found myself not making any videos because I just didn't have, it's not that I didn't have the time. I wasn't good about delegating my time because I went from doing my nine to five and running my business to just running my business and like lots of change. So needless to say, I'm really happy you're here. I'm really happy to be talking with you. I'm really excited to share you this message because it's something that has taken me a really, really, really long time, even today to master and to like just focus on that but it's been something that has saved me my very heart and soul my very being so much heartache and so much pain and leaning into this more has done wonders so I hope that you could take this and put it into your everyday life it's really simple it's really easy there's no there's not a 10 step to this 10 step process 10 tips and tricks no it's literally just like point blank to the point like this is what we're doing so okay mm -hmm. first I want to say what you focus on what you choose to focus on is going to multiply if you are a negative person I have to tell you something. oh yeah you want to say hello hey mom hello. this, this keychain can stick we're ready for church, and mommy's gonna pick us up, and we're going to Gigi's. What did you do yesterday? I bumped my. I slipped on a pillow. And I bumped my nose. That was this morning. What did you do yesterday? Where'd you go? To the dino. I mean the museum. Yeah. And then I saw a lot of stuff. What's your favorite dinosaur? Mm. And then Remy next. Ankylosaurus. And what do you want to be when you grow up? And you could do whatever you want. You know that, right? Yeah. Let's do Remy. Okay. Remy's turn. Remy's turn. Oh, he's covering up. <laughs> he's a big boy. <laughs> Mom, do that to me. What do you Mom, want to be when you grow up? I am going to do... Some fun stuff as going in our space, an astronaut. You're going to be an astronaut when you grow up? Yep. I, I believe it. Mom. You can do anything you want. Yep. All right, my boys. I'm going to finish this video, and then we're going to go have some fun, okay? Oh. All right. Let Mommy finish the video. Thank you for being the star of the show. Okay, Mom. my boy. Mom, when I grow up, too, I'm going to be um, a... Um, a pilot and I'm What about my favorite army. dinosaur? Okay, come on. Mommy's gonna do this really quick. What about what about my favorite Don't dinosaur, trip, Mom? Don't trip, baby. Hey, Mom, What's your favorite, favorite dinosaur, Remy? A T Rex. Hey Mom, come look what I made. Let me see what you made. Come on. 
Momming always comes first. So, yes. I'll be right out in a second, okay? All right? I got a boo-boo. All right. <clears throat> I'll, be, I'll be right there, okay? I encourage them being in the videos because they're just really special boys. They really are. Before I came on, he's like, you do good in there, mom. Jameson was like, you do good in there, mom. I believe in you. And it's just like so sweet. They're just like the greatest. Oh, and they're really excited about their future. And um, I'm glad they came in and talked about what they wanted to do. So back to what I was saying, and this does tie in. <clears throat> I feel so old when I do that. Pinky's <clears throat> <clears throat> so old. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. I'm weird. I don't care. I'm not clipping any of this out. You get the weirdness, you get it all. Oh, okay. Perfect example. I had a really, 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 really crazy comment on one of my videos the other day. It was one of the first videos I posted. And the person was like, honestly, I didn't read it. I didn't read it enough to know what, what really the gist of it was saying. But I did get an idea. And it was basically like picking me apart. And I was just like, thank you for watching. Because that's what I'm choosing to focus on. And this is what this video is about. What you focus on multiplies. If I were to look at that video and say, oh my God, this is the worst thing ever. I can't believe he thinks it's about me or she or whatever it is, thinks it's about me. And, uh, my life is... I probably never make another video, but I'm choosing to say, hey, they watched my video. They took the time out of their day, out of their life to watch my video and to leave me a comment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your time. I appreciate that. But that's what I choose to focus on. I think the comment's gone. I think they deleted it. For instance, um, let's say the boys. What I choose to focus on multiplies. I'm not mad that they came in here and wanted to say hello to the camera. And I'm going to hear this. I would love to hear that. So he's a DJ now. Are you a DJ? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to finish the video, okay? I'll be out in just a minute. What's that song? Can I have knuckles? High five. Thank you. Knuckles too? Okay. I'll be out in just a minute, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. I'm not sorry. I love them. I get to be their mother. And I get to have fun with them. And I get to share to show them that it's okay to be excited about life. Okay. What you focus on multiplies. If, if he kept coming in here and I was getting mad about that, it would do nothing but make me mad and piss me off. But I'm focusing on the positive of it. He loves me. He wants to be in here. He wants to be part of it. And I'm going to focus on that because that's the good. What you focus on will keep coming back into your life. I don't know if you've noticed this. But you ever hear the saying, oh, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed or they woke up on the wrong side of the bed and the rest of the day sucks. Yeah, it's because you're focusing on what went wrong from the very get-go. Maybe it was a bad dream. Maybe you just <clears throat> naturally woke up in a bad state of mind, which happens to people all the time. Kind of happened to me this morning. I woke up and I was kind of like, mm, mm, and I was like, you know what I'm thankful for? I'm thankful for everything. And I went down the list of things I'm grateful for and thankful for. And then I woke up in a great mood. And it was great. And I've been having a great day. Um, back to what I was saying. You wake up on the wrong side of the bed. And everything all day long goes wrong. Oh, wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Okay. That's what you're going to get more of. If you have people in your life who are negative Nellies and negative Nancys. And all they do is, ah, oh, like, you know that, like, old friend that you have and they're just like super negative and you're like oh and when you leave being around them you feel like they sucked the life out of you it's because they did it's because they literally did they sucked the life and the energy out of you so maybe take a step back from them you know for for example for me I have some people in my life and they are I'm just I don't care. It's my channel. I'm going to speak about it. It's my life. I want to share with you. I want to be real with you because I want to be able for my audience to connect. And if you don't like what I'm saying and don't watch the video, don't be here. It's just my life. Um, I have some negative family and um, I just don't pay any mind to it. I just don't. I, I literally am like, I observe it. I see it. I'm like, okay. And that's it. Okay. If that's how you choose to be in your life, then that's okay because that is your life. And what you keep doing is going to keep coming back to you. Not to me. It doesn't bother me. But I am observing it. So there's a difference. You know, like, um, 
for instance, this month for a lot of my girlfriends and I, a lot of my business owner friends are like, this month has been the hardest month. I'm like, I know. And one of them in particular was texting me the other day. She was like, I just, I've had a day. I've had a day and then I go to the gas station and then the gas thing isn't working and it says see cashier and it's being super weird and it's pissing me off and like this is just oh and I'm like listen I think the universe or God is just trying to tell you just to slow down and we all have those days and literally the day before that that was me I was like I'm just having a freaking day and the same thing happened to me it was the it was the gas pump my card wasn't working all my cards weren't working. I literally called Anthony freaking out. Like, oh my God, you have to send me money. I don't know what's going on. Send it on Apple Cash so I can like boop it. And like, I don't know what's going on with my cards, yada, yada. And um, I had like a scammer on my card. So I had to cancel my card, but then I couldn't get, it was just like this whole thing. But when those things happen, just like look at it from a different perspective. It's not necessarily bad. It's just maybe like God is just trying to have you slow down. So maybe try this. Maybe this is a tip for you. Instead of focusing on what's going wrong, focus on what is going right for that day. And then if something's happening, like your tire pops or, you know, someone's really mean to you and says something really nasty to you, instead of like adapting it as your truth, just understand that like, it has nothing to do with you. Like literally nothing to do with you if it's an outside source, but if it's something that's connected to you, like your tire popping, or you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed, remember, that what you focus on will multiply. So I like to start my day off with gratitude. And I know this sounds super hippy dippy, but honestly, sometimes I wake up in a not so great state of mind. I don't know, I wake up with a song in my head sometimes and it's like a depressing song. And I'm like, ew, why am I thinking that? But if you run with the first thought that you have in your mind on those mornings, like, oh, I don't know, I'm thinking something negative. Oh, I have to do that and this sucks. Then you're just setting yourself up for failure. So set yourself up for success by thinking about what you're grateful for and, you know, so on and so forth. And if it's something outside of you, like a distant family member who is just extremely rotten to you, then you just chop it up as how those people treat you is not, has nothing to do with you. And it's just a direct reflection of them. And you just have to let them be rotten and let them do their thing because if they are intimidated or threatened by you, chances are they're intimidated and threatened by a million other people and you are just another person for them to stomp on. And yes, I have had, have had, it's happening to me right now and I'm not taking it personal. Um, a book recommendation I have for you, so freaking good, is The Four Agreements. I think it's The Four Agreements. It is. Fantastic read. You can go on YouTube right now if you're like, girl, I have no money. I'm broke right now. It's fine. It's okay. Don't focus on that. Focus on the fact that it's on YouTube for free. You can type in the four agreements and I'll link it below. And it's, I think the first thing, the first chapter in there is take nothing personal. And the moment that you start taking nothing personal, so many things change. It's like, wow, this really has nothing to do with me and everything to do with you. Or if you're in your mind thinking, oh my God, I'm so scared. Why isn't this client texting me back? Oh my God, why is this, this girl or guy or whoever not texting me back? Blah, blah, blah. And you're like all in your head and you're taking it personal. And there's like, you have all these thoughts running through your head. You're just stressing yourself out. You're shortening your life. Don't do that. You're making your Botox run out. I'm just kidding. You're gonna make yourself go gray. Just relax. It's not, there's nothing personal to it nothing to it just just slow down and enjoy the ride we're not here for too long so yeah that's the first chapter take nothing personal um and there's a few other really good things in there. there's only four chapters the four agreements phenomenal but um yeah i think that's all i got for you but you'll notice when you stop focusing on the baloney and just focus on yourself and focus on your happiness and focus on what you have going on and focus on the happiness in your life and all the great friends and great people and great, like everything in your life you have going on right now, I'm sure there's something you can think about that makes you genuinely really freaking happy. Focus on that. And when you get in a situation where you're like, like I don't feel right, I don't feel good, this sucks. Focus on anything. The fact that you have air in your lungs right now is a God-given privilege. He literally gives us the air that we breathe in our lungs. Think about the ocean and how beautiful that is. Go enjoy the ocean. You know, if you are really in a low spot right now, which I feel like a lot of us are in a really, really, really low spot in our lives right now, focus on just anything. The sun rising and the sun 
you know, going down and the moon and the stars and just like the things that God created and just focus on that until you can really find something else to focus on. Because when you focus on those things, your life get your life gets so good, so good. I will say this, when I was in my early 20s, um, I had a lot, a lot of emotions, a lot going on. I didn't know who I was. Like, I knew what, I knew who I was. Like, I had a pretty strong sense of self. But when you're in your young 20s, I mean, what do you really know? You're just like, Wah. you know, like Nana Land. <laughs> Me, literally my whole life. Just like floating through time and space, quite literally. Um, but what I noticed, and I thought about this this morning for this video. I knew this morning right away when I woke up. I'm like, this is what I want to share with them because this is what God's putting on my heart. It's slow it's not a slow, it's a quiet thought. And I'm like, that's what I want to talk about. I would literally like some, anything could happen. Like someone would say something mean to me or the guy I was seeing was like mean or like anything. One thing would happen. And I would run with that for literally weeks. And I'd like go in and out of like sad states. I don't want to call it depression. I don't think I've ever suffered from that. I mean, I think I have, but like here and there, which is normal. I think that's normal to like go through moments in life where you're like, oh. Oh, I locked it on you. It's a bad habit. Um, come look what I made. Can you come show, bring it in here. I want you to show everyone what well, you made. Oh, okay, fine. Is it going to break? Okay, so what I was saying is I would run with it. I would literally run with that for weeks. You don't have to do that. Ooh, what would you make? Mm. So that's it. But you focus on multiplies. Life is too short and too, too beautiful to focus on anything other than all the good things that are going on in your life right now. And I always say this, but you can't connect the dots looking forward, but you can connect them looking backwards. So just let life play out and just enjoy it and have a light heart. And remember, start your day with gratitude and just do your thing. Do your thing and see how much better life gets. Like if you focus on, oh, I can't pay the bills and I'm freaking out and I don't have this and I don't have that, you're going to be in a lack state, a state of lack for the rest of your life. If you focus on the people that don't like you, that's the only thing. Oh my God, uh, I have a hair in my mouth. Ah, that's the only thing that you're going to focus on forever. Those people don't like you, who freaking cares? Do you like you? If that job... Who cares? Do your best. Show up, do your best, and find another job if you can, if you want. You know what? So be it. If your tire pops, maybe God was saving you from like a really bad accident and he saved you. Focus on the good things. There's a lot of really good things to focus on. Ooh, it's the small moments. Bring that in here. Don't pick it up, I don't want it to fall. I'm gonna show everyone. Focus on the small things.